We're going to help make sure that we help those, uh, the hospitals in rural Georgia that are failing. And we're going to lower insurance rates for citizens all across the state as it relates to health care. I can promise you. We're going to create a rising tide that lifts all boats through the workforce, through the College and Career Academy network that I've created in 2007, where 30,000 students are being able to see 40 and $50,000 a year salaries. That's the kind of future that we want, to give people a better alternative than what they may be in. And I will tell you, that prosperity will be felt for all. And we're going to make sure that every single student across Georgia has access to College and Career Academies, early colleges, and apprenticeships all across the state. It's that kind of positive message that we're going to be focused on as we go forward. And to see that map and to see how many counties that we won, to see the margin that existed there is very, very encouraging to Nita and I, and I hope it's just as encouraging to you as well. Yeah. <laughs> So tomorrow we're going to step right back into the, in, into the uh, well, actually, tomorrow's Nita's birthday, okay? All uh, right, so, so I'm going to have to celebrate her birthday a little bit tomorrow, okay? But outside of that, we're going to be right back, and right back going all across the state and sharing this wonderful message. And I will tell you on the conservative issues, we're going to continue to fight for the value system that exists within Georgia. And I promise you, we will be unwavering, not just on life, but on Second Amendment as well. And we've got the record to back it up, I can promise you. So thank every single one of you for being here. You do not know, you do not know what a blessing you are to me and to my family. I am humbled. I am humbled by tonight. I'm humbled by this contest. And I want to tell you that Hunter Hill, he didn't, he, did, he didn't make the cut tonight, but he's a good man and he is my friend. And I want you all to all give him a great round of applause. And I would say the same thing about Clay Tippins as well. Uh, a great individual who served our country and served it very honorably. And we look forward to hopefully being able to have their support as we go forward as well. But this is a great, great night. And for every single one of you, you gave of your time, you gave of your energy, and we would be nowhere without you. And so I want to thank you personally and say we love you and we will not let you down. We will fight every single day to get a victory in, in this runoff then we will go on to be your next governor in November. Thank you and God bless you. Appreciate you. Casey Cagle, a very bullion tonight, along with his wife, Nita, as they claim victory. Now they get ready for the runoff against Brian Kemp, but a very strong night for Casey Cagle at 39%, uh, 180,000 plus votes, followed by Brian Kemp. And you also heard the lieutenant governor mention Hunter Hill as well. On the Democratic side, Stacey Abrams, 75 percent, no runoff there as she claims clear victory. She now uh, is able to begin to campaign toward November uh, with her victory tonight. She was saying that unexpected becomes the truth and that she is a candidate of public education. And that were, was her words uh, about 35 minutes ago. We have a lot more politics to talk. We will do so right after this break.